Hello, and welcome to Thomcraft. Thomcraft is part of the Technic pack. Uh, don't confuse it with Techit. It is much like Techit, but it's single player only, and it's got a lot more stuff. A lot more stuff. And Thomcraft is one of the coolest parts of it, I think. Um, and I guess a lot of you haven't really played it because you, you've been playing Techit, and it's not in Techit. So I'm going to show you a bit of Thomcraft. Uh, show you how cool it is, and I better tell you what the first thing you need to do is dig. So you can't just go into Technic Pack or into Thorncraft and expect to be building stuff straight away. You need to be mining a lot first, because what you need is to collect these crystals, and you need to collect quite a lot of them, really. So there's different crystals. There's these crystals, which are kind of basic arcane crystals. There's Vaporous Crystals, Fiery Crystals, Tainted Crystals, Earthen, and Aqueous. So there's kind of Elemental Crystals, Tainted, and Magic. And depending on the biome, um, changes which ones you find. So if you're in like a, a swamp, or, I guess, you'll, you'll get Aqueous, um, or a desert might get you Fiery. Plains or, or something like that would get you Earthen. Uh, Vaporous might be, I don't know something else. <laughs> so, this is one of the items, it's a, called a void chest, it's a nice big chest, pretty cool. And I put a bunch of things in here to show you what they do. Now, what you need to do first is build yourself a crucible, as soon as you get some crystals, make it daytime. So to make that you do this, any crystal, a cauldron and a furnace. So this guy is like, kind of your, your resources really. This is where you get all your, your Vs from, which is the kind of power source. So I'll just put them down under here. And I'll spawn myself in some diamonds. Oops. Let's get some diamond blocks, because they're worth tons. Now, obviously you won't be using these usually. You'll be probably making a quarry, uh, which pipes stuff automatically into this. But but the better the item, the more um, Vs it's worth, so you just chuck it in, and that's overflowing now, because it's, it's worth such a lot. So you just throw any item into the cauldron, and it produces Vs and Taint. These are two different resources, and most of the earlier stuff uses just Vs, so you have to get rid of the Taint. Um, so then, you need to build yourself a infuser, a Thormic infuser, which uses any crystal, some iron and, and all that MacGuffins. Now, you'll put this next to the cauldron so it can use the vis from the cauldron. Now this is what you build all the rest of your recipes in, pretty much. So just say I wanted to build something called um, Night Ore, which is a kind of power source. It uses glowstone and redstone. Then, so I'd get some glowstone and some redstone. And you put them in the infuser. And as long as there's Vs in your um, cauldron, it will use the Vs and it will make the recipe. So I've got one night off from that. Now, after you've done that, you want to start kind of storing your Vs. So you need to put it into tanks. So you're going to need um, some pipes. Now in this, they're called conduits and valves and the conduits use uh, redstone and glass and wood and the valves use a lever and two conduits and then you're going to need um, some tanks to store the vis in. Now these need uh, enchanted wood which you, so you need to um, get yourself some wood not planks, just wood, and put it into the infuser with a crystal. Any crystal will do, so we'll use an earthen, for example. And that will make you enchanted wood, and it will also leave you with a depleted crystal. Which you should save for later. So with the enchanted wood you can make the, the, the V storage tanks. So then you get your uh, pipes and your tanks. Now the valves um, aren't necessary, but they're useful. So, because you can stop the vis from being sent out of the cauldron by turning them on and off. So we'll just do that, and we'll put down a tank here. 
Now if we turn that on, the tank will start filling up. Let's just make some more room. This is one of the items you can get from uh, Thomcraft. It digs a lot of uh, a lot of dirt in a, at the same time on the same level, which is kind of nice. And also, if you right-click, it will plant lots of nice flowers. <laughs> um, so we'll we'll do another one as well. We've got lots of these. There we go. But we haven't got lots of these. So one diamond block fills up an entire tank. But just say I threw something else in, like some uh, glowstone. It creates a bit and it bubbles away. Bloop, 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 bloop. Now, so this is a combination of vis and taint. So we want to kind of purify the vis or, or store the taint somewhere else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some um, filters. Now what will these do is take the taint and shove it into the atmosphere, which can be a problem, as you might see. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll break this pipe and we'll take the conduit here, we'll put down a filter, that's a valve. Actually, you probably need a valve, yeah, we'll put a valve down as well. And then we'll bring him round, put in a filter into the, into the loop, and then finally put it into there. So now this will... Actually, if I break this to get rid of the... the V that's already in it. There we go, put him back down. Break that as well. Now... When I turn on this pipe, it will take the vis out of that tank, through the filter, into that tank. Now you should notice a difference in colour. It should be a nice brighter colour when it goes through here. Now if we put something else in the cauldron, let's really fill it up and see how it copes. <laughs> and put down a second filter. There we go. So it's finally doing it. It's a bit slow. But it's putting out this uh, brighter coloured vis into this tank. Which is pure vis because it's been filtered. Right. That's the basics of the vis. Now there's other things you can do. Um, but a lot of them require you to learn the recipe first. Now a lot, pretty much all of this is um, is basic stuff that you can build straight away, but then more of the advanced stuff you actually have to learn the recipe, there's no way to do it without spawning it in. And to do that you need uh, what's called a quasitum. A quasitum. And um, we'll put this next to the bookcases, so that helps. It draws in all the, all the power from them. And this takes um, a bunch of things, and one of them is paper. So I'll get some paper. Here we go. Put that in there. Now, um, when you're exploring the world of Thumbcraft, you'll find these things called artifacts. They may be in dungeons, they may drop from mobs, but you should collect them all. And. And let's just see what, if I can find any in this list. <laughs> there must be a loads of them. All the red power stuff. Uh, here's the Thorncraft things. Um, where are they all? Um, ah, here we go. So here's all the artifacts. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Artifacts, common artifacts, common artifacts. So these are ones you'll find quite often, and then there'll be rarer things. Um, rare forbidden artifact, exceptional forbidden artifact. These are much rarer to find. So if I just spawn out a bunch of them, whatever that is, 
Now what you do is you put them into the Quasitum. Like that. And it will research it. And it will lose it 75% of the time. Now the success rate is only 12%, so it's not great. Um, you can increase the success rate by putting in items into these two things. So if I put some wood in, it puts up to 14%. And it will destroy the wood. And there we go, that's all of it gone. So, the better things you put in here, the more success rate you get. So if I put some diamond blocks in there, and then we'll put in a exceptional artifact. Let me see, success rate 118%. So that'll definitely do something. There we go. So we've got some fragments of Eldritch Knowledge. Four fragments. Now what you need to do then is research those again with a success rate of 45%. This is with diamond blocks, by the way. Only 45%. So pretty, um, pretty insane. But there we go, we've got a theory. Hopefully we'll get another one. Yep, two theories. So these are kind of recipes, but you have to learn them. Now, this is very much fast tracking this system. Usually you'll have to like spend a lot of artifacts and a lot of stuff um, researching. Also, I don't think you each need artifacts. You could just put a diamond block in there like that. But artifacts help. They have a high research value. Um, or high-ish. This has a research value of 24 for a block of diamond. Some of these artifacts have 20 uncommon, uh, exceptional is 80, so they're worth a lot um, for researching. But you could just put any old crap in there. And it would take, if I put like a stack of wood in there in each block, then it would eat up most of it and it might give us some fragments. So what you're after is fragments. And once you've got some fragments, you learn them and then you get theories. See, there we go. We've got another theory: Dawnstone, trivial difficulty, tricky difficulty, and easy difficulty. Now, what you have to do then is research these again. So, if I research the Dawnstone, which is trivial, there we go. Easy success. Now, it has to build up these blobs five times. You can't lose these theories, so don't, don't worry. You just lose what's in here, and then you finally get the discovery. So I discovered a, something called a Dawnstone, so if I right click on that, it then tells me the recipe. Uh, so it needs blaze powder, glowstone dust, and a gold nugget. And now I've learned that, I can actually build that in the infuser. Before I couldn't have built that at all, it just wouldn't work. But now that I've learned it, I can, I can make one. So let's make one, let's see what it is. Let's store this discovery away, you won't need it again. You can research it, I guess, for seven, if it's worth it. <laughs> so we'll get a uh, glowstone, a blaze powder, and what was it? A, a gold nugget. Um, there we go. So we'll put that into the infuser. Any order is probably fine. And that makes us a dawnstone. It hasn't got a texture. Um, of my texture pack, and I right clicked, and it's it's uh, oh my god, it's um there we go, it makes it daytime, it skips the night. That was really cool. It just speeds you through the day, through the night rather. Wow, that's cool. That was cool. So um, what else can we research? We've got a uh, contained emptiness. So we need to get five blobs of that to learn it. There's so many items in this. It's amazing. Nearly there. This is a tricky one, so it takes a bit longer. Um, yep, there we go. So we've got Discovery, Contained Emptiness. Let's have a look at that. Harnessing the power of the void. This upgrade increases the capacity of devices or thomic creations it is attached to. Okay. Well, that sounds fun. <laughs> I've learned that. Um, yeah, so there's a bunch of things you can make. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of cool ones, one of which is called a travelling trunk. Now, if you like Discworld, like I do, this will uh, you'll enjoy this.
It's um, it's a chest. You can put things in it, but it follows you around. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? And I think you can also upgrade it, um, and you can make it st stay where it is, or you can make it follow you. And you can upgrade it to to like um, be aggressive, and it will like eat things, <laughs> and so on. So that's um, that's pretty cool. And all these weapons that I've got here are things that you can research as well. The um, axe of the stream is kind of cool. It will, I'll show you on my house. It will do that. <laughs> Eat all the wood. Um, if you shift click, it'll just do a single. Um, well, that's ruined my house, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, the pickaxe of the core is another cool one. You can. Um, it's it's so hot. It's like really hot pickaxe. So when you mine stuff, it automatically smelts it as well. So I'm getting stone here, iron ingots here. Um, it's just nice. Also. Another cool feature, if you right click, I'll show you up here, it will make a little wispy thing and it will go to the, it will point to the most valuable item around and you just follow it. So I'll just follow this and I'll see where it takes me. Where are you taking me? There we go, it's found some iron. Thank you. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. My chest is stuck. <laughs> oh no! Come on! There we go, good boy. So yeah, I'll be doing a couple more episodes on this, I think. Um, just to show you guys all the stuff. I can't possibly fit it all in one episode. Um, so yeah, until next time, goodbye!